so I'm actually really excited. I'm going to go to the theatre today. So it's actually making me want to kind of get ready and actually look slightly decent for a change. So I'm going to just be doing a little bit of a get ready with me today while I'm getting ready to go out. <clears throat> I think what I'm going to start with is the Bobbi Brown um, Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I did get this as like a little mini um, so I thought I'd give it a go because it's supposed to be really thick and moisturising. My skin's feeling pretty dry today so I'm just going to put that all over in addition to my face cream by the way. Oh, it smells like oranges, it smells really nice. Okay, And I'm just going to rub all of that in. Alright, it feels so smooth. hope that this provides a nice base for the foundation um now i have used majority of the stuff that i'm going to use today but i'll let you know which ones i haven't used before um so i'm going to go in with the concealer to conceal my eyes because i'm going to do a pretty heavy eye look today so i'm thinking best to do the eyes first right so i'm going to go in with the elf um camo concealer the satin finish one i'm just going to put that all over my eyelids And I'm just going to blend this out with a little Real Techniques brush. It's called the Sculpting Brush, but I've kind of been liking this for my foundation at the moment. Okay, and then I'm just going to set this down so I have a good base for the eyeshadow. And I'm just using a little um, transparent, I believe this is from Rimmel London, yeah, the one that I've been using previously. I'm just putting this all over the eyelid to set down that concealer that we've just placed. <coughs> And that actually just popped out of the pan. I don't know if you can tell, it's kind of like lifted. So that's going to be a bit messy. Um, okay, now the fun but scary part is that I'm going to try and do this eyeshadow. I want to kind of do like a dark smoky eye but adding a little bit of this um, Urban Decay Moon Dust palette. And I'm really liking the look of the green shade to add as like a little topper. So that's what I'm going to do today. So I'm going to try and go out with like a bit more of a um, blending shade in the crease first. Just to help with the blending of the other black eyeshadow that I'm going to use. Um, I do I want to use a bit of a deeper shade. Okay, so I'm going to use... This Pat McGrath I, um, Mothership, I, I believe that's Mothership 5, the one with the V. Um, it's the one that's got like the bright red, like foiled look one here. And I'm going to use this shade here and try and put this in the crease a little bit like a transition shade. anyone that struggles with this matte shade because it's not blending the best and this is quite an expensive palette but I've always struggled with it I feel like the matte shades in the Pat McGrath palettes just aren't crazy amazing compared to like the shimmer shades um, but I'm just using a different brush to try and blend that in a bit more looks a little bit better now for the scary part is like I'm going to try and build up a bit of a black eyeshadow 
put down as a base to put down as a base um now i've got a couple of black shades but i'm trying to think of which one's like the most intense that's not going to like look a bit strange on the eye because i feel like sometimes they blend out and they just look a bit patchy and you know it's hard to find an actual nice black eyeshadow um See, like, look, in the pan, that black eyeshadow here looks incredible. But I'm trying to swatch this on my hand, and it's just not looking the best. But, um... Okay, I think I'm going to go in with this, um... <laughs> it's the Coming to America, the... I don't know how to say it. Is it Uoma Black Magic Colour pal Palette? It looks like this. And... It's kind of got like this little colour story on it. And I'm going to try and use this black shade. And I'm going to try and pat that on the lid. Using a flat brush. It's okay if I get a little bit messy underneath because I'm going to clean that up with a um, makeup wipe afterwards. Looks crazy. Yeah, but we're going to try and make it work. I'm kind of going just slightly above my um, little crease just to see if I can try and make the eyelid look a little bit bigger. Okay, and I look ridiculous right now, but we're going to try and blend this out. I'm going to take the little blending brush that I had earlier, there's nothing else on it, I've like rubbed it all off, and I'm going to try and just smooth out the edges of this eyeshadow just to my, try and get it to fade a little bit better wipe away the rest of the excess of this with a makeup wipe so I'm just going to kind of push it from it, from here, where it's all going to be piled up in the inner corner. I'm going to clear that up with concealer later, and I'm just going to go up so it kind of creates a little bit of a wing effect. And I'm just going to get rid of that line that's happened there, and then we'll smooth that out a little bit later with um, concealer and stuff. Trying to make those little winged lines even. Looks pretty good. Yeah, not bad. Not bad considering I haven't used that black eyeshadow before. Okay, now for the glitter, which is the Moon Dust palette. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go in with this. I'm just going to take my finger for this. But I'm going to go in with the shade that's called Lightyear. Like this really cool green colour. And I'm going to put this more towards the centre. Um, the inner corner towards the centre. And just tap that on. Oh my god, I love that. Love it, love it, love it. And then again, I've had quite a bit of fallout, so I'm going to wipe underneath 
where that's happened I might put a little bit more um, face base on just on the cheeks again but that is looking pretty decent at the moment I quite like that um, gonna take the little blending brush just to go over things that might have creased slightly like that Love it. so I've just added a bit more of that vitamin face base on and I think now I'm gonna go in with the foundation um, and I'm just using the magic um, Charlotte Tilbury foundation I've used this for years it's one of my favorites um, and this is in the shade 3, Fair. Pump all over the face. And again, I'm going to take my little um, sculpting brush and just blend this out. And be careful of the eyeshadow that I've just done. concealer that I'm going to use is this Revolution Ultimate Ultimate Radiant Under Eye Concealer. It's just the one with the little gold lid and this is in the shade C2. I'm just going to put this under my eyes and any like imperfections that I've got. Should I just conceal my whole face at this point? And I am going to um, take this Morphe M173 brush, it's like this, and I've been using this to blend out my concealer. Be careful around the wing. What we've tried to blend out. Now I'm going to set that down before anything creases. Um, where have you gone? Just using the same rimmel powder that I used before. So I've just realised that I kind of blended out that line a little bit so I've just gone back in with the remains that were on the flat brush and added a little bit of a wing effect and I'm just going to blend that in slightly. Like in an upward motion so it's not too harsh. going to finish up the eyes um i think that i'm going to go in with um the shade that i used in the crease just to kind of like deepen out the um lower lash line um so back in with the pat mcgrath palette and using uh this i'm using 
this shade here, the um, sort of caramel colour, just on a little fluffier brush. I'm just put this on the lower lash line. Blend that in. I'm kind of sorry, it's almost like in line with the little wing that we did earlier. Okay. So I am going to go in with a bit of a black eyeliner, and this one's from NYX, and it's the um epic wear liner stick and i'm just going to put that in the waterline and kind of extend a little bit so that it follows the wing rather than using an actual liquid just kind of lift like that so it's kind of followed that wing but it's not too intense because we've got quite an intense eye already and lift like that um just going to do slight um Kind of into the center on the bottom lash line like kind of like where your eye is um this becca bronzed bondi bronzer like this and I'm just going to put this all over my cheeks wherever you'd normally put the bronzer so like here on the forehead I kind of like have been liking pushing it back into the hairline too so it's not like an instant stop where your hairline is And then I like to put a little bit under the lip, which gives a little bit of a shadow. And I'm going to pinch it and just go down the nose and at the bottom, like that. Now for blush. Now I have two to choose from. And I think I might end up going with the berry one. So I have this Dior. Um, it's kind of like the one that everyone's been loving, the backstage one. But it's the coral version, which looks really nice. But I just don't think that it's going to pop very well with this. So I'm going to go in with this Clinique Ginger Pop, which I've had for a while. Really nice colour. It's in the little flower design. And I've literally had this for the longest time. And it's like kind of a baked formula. And it lasts so long. So I'm just going to go in with the blush brush, which I've been using is just this one at the moment. And I'm going to apply that a little bit more, um, a little bit higher. Almost where you just put the bronzer and then bring it forward slightly. Like that. And then I'm just going to put a little bit on the nose too. Cool. And now, before.
before I do mascara, I'm just going to go in with some highlight. And I have, again, I have this Charlotte Tilbury one, which was kind of like limited edition. It's the Magic Star highlighter. It's like this, really, really nice. Or I do have the Be Perfect one that I just did a video on too, which is like this. I think I'm going to have to go back in with the Be Perfect one. It just has a really nice tone to it and it's, it's quite intense, but um, it blends in really well. So I'm just going to use, this is the shade Ice Queen, by the way, as well. And you start towards the cheekbone and just slightly bring it forward. And then on the nose, top of the cupid's bow, my mascara before I do the lips, and it's the Max Factor 2000 calorie waterproof. Okay, that's the mascara. I think for lip, I'm just going to go in with um, Sweet Blossom by Charlotte Tilbury. It's in this little funky packaging. And I'm going to try and like tap this onto the lip. It's quite a nice like peachy honey colour. Um, and it's really nice and nude. So I'm just going to blend it out onto the lips so it's not too intense. so that it adds a nice bit of colour just so they add a nice little bit of stain to the lips I want to manage to get black eyeshadow here love that for me don't know where that's come from. Um, I'm just going to get a bit of tissue. And just... Maybe the fan uh, concealer brush. That's better. Yeah. So, this is the finished look. Started off pretty crazy, but I think it actually turned out pretty well. Um... I'm in a rush now and I've got to finish off doing my hair so I'll let you go but this is the finished look if you liked it please give it a thumbs up comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video bye